Life, back, back, what up, family? Boom, let's do this. Chop, chop, chop. Let's go, council. It's class time, it's temple time. <laughs> Got a major energetic for y'all, as usual. <laughs> major chops. Shinyali, what up? Bless. Lady Lagrata, Wagwan, bang, bang. Up, Shinyali, Ashe. Yeah, Golding, what up? Yuli, Grand Rising, Bliss, everyone. <laughs> Welcome. What up, Lady La Grata? <laughs> Big up. Guaylo, what up, fam? True, true is her now. <laughs> More life. Bless. Truth is her now. Bang, bang. Up, Shinyali. Yeah, Big up, big up. Oh, no doubt, Lady La Grata. <laughs> Y'all was worried about the... the <laughs> The big EMP. <laughs> Mila, what up? Morning. Money Junker. What up? What up? What up? Don Cheddar. Wow, go on. Bang. <laughs> Everybody was <laughs> sleepless about the uh, <laughs> EMP. <laughs> Edward, what up? Yo, yo. Bless up. Bless up, Ed. For real. Yeah, family. Blissful Kings. Like, hey, family. Creative Space, J.A. Big up, big up. Y'all in the building every time. Bang, bang. Mike, what up? Big up. Lemon grass. So I go on. Giovanni, big up. Empress Miller, up. Yo, family, big up. Much love to everyone. Namaste, Rich Rising and all that. So family, remember I was telling y'all before, right? Like, no man knows the time nor the hour. Like, no one knows the time nor the hour. It's written, you see me? When, when the Most High decide to sweep through the matrix for real and really, really shut down what to be shut down, no one's gonna know when that happens, fam. It's written like that. It says like a thief in the night. It's just gonna be like, boom. It's not gonna be televised or publicized. No, there's not gonna be a date for it. No one's gonna know when. It's it's just gonna happen. You feel me? Like you you feel it. Like we're in the season. Like we're feeling it. But you're not gonna know a date. You feel me? And let me show you an energetic family. Like for real. What up, dynamic? Big up, big up. Let me show you a real energetic family. Um. Nothing's gonna really happen too drastical until we're safe, until we're where we're supposed to be. I'm a, I promise you, all right? Cause we're moving on the wave, all right? So it's not like, in one way, it is being held back because of us, but it's also being held back because we're moving in the exact timing of when this shit's going down. Like I keep telling you guys, we're gonna know when to move and where to be at. We're just gonna know. You're just gonna be wherever it is you are and you're gonna be safe there for whatever reason. You're, you're putting up your Faraday cage. I keep telling you guys, your magnetic shield, your field, all right? It's gonna block out all the electromagnetic interference and protect your mind and shield you from whatever happens. You feel me? And now you're literally gonna be levitating, all right? I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna levitate. You're not, you, you're not gonna allow yourself to die. You're gonna live through whatever happens, I promise you. But. With that being said, I'm telling you, nothing drastical is going to happen until we are safe in a certain sense. Like, yeah, like we're, when we're ready. I told you guys this already. It goes for the younger ones, goes for us, the innocent, everything. Until we're in a certain position, nothing ain't going to happen like that. Not for the real ones, because I told you guys the main aspect of this new restoration is getting rid of trauma, not creating new trauma. All right. And I am telling you guys, like a lot of the events that Babylon themselves sort of had planned in their narrative, because when they do their reset, this is the type of shit that happens. They do like all kind of destruction and stuff, but it's set up more through them knocking over dominoes and causing effects. Right. But in this dispensation family, as you can see, it's mother nature and other higher level beings have taken, you know, what I'm saying have come in to take a role and play a role in the game. So it's not working out as before. It's not their plan, not their judgment. It's not their reset. You see me? We're in a whole nother playing field right now. You see me? And the angelics, there's an order to everything. All right? There's a consciousness. There's a most high. This is not just random. And nothing's just going to happen to you just out the blue. You're just going to be there and a building fall on you or some shit. That's not going to happen. You're going to be protected and guided wherever you are. It's in my sense of like, don't even be worried about none of this goofy shit. Don't even worry about their dates when they put them out. I told you guys before. Ja Rumi, what up, fam? Bless, bless. Jenner's up, up, up. Yeah, man. El Jason, big up. You see? Yo, let me tell you something, family. They, I told you guys, they do this shit as energy extraction. 
It's energy extraction. Is it man? What's, what's up, Muddy Junker? They do it as energy extraction. It's to get us all focused on the same thing at the same time, and everybody's thinking about it, and you're generating that frequency, that energetic. And it's not, it's not a high vibration when you think about it, because more people are worried about. You know what I'm saying? Worried about it. It's not like a a, a part of this like energetic shift. It's more like a, a worry. It becomes a stress because people are thinking about, oh, what power is going off? What am I gonna do with this, that, and the third? You feel what I'm saying, family? But it's like. It, it, it's like we don't have to worry about it I'm telling you guys Once again I'm going to tell you again I'm going to reiterate this When the power goes off for real When the grid gets knocked out By the plasma, by the blast, by the, by the flash Any of that Bam, you're going to automatically Almost instantly Be activated Your whole mindset's going to change you're, you're, It's just going to be natural You're not going to feel scared You're not going to feel afraid That's what they're trying to push on you when this grid goes down, family, you're going to realize, you're going to be able to see with your third eye, you're going to open up, the spectrum is going to be wide open. You're going to see yourself start glowing. You're going to start seeing that everything was always glowing around you. Dog, you're going to realize that the atmosphere creates its own light. Like the atmosphere is lit up. Like we don't even, fam, we don't even need a quote unquote sun anymore. We are a sun. Our atmosphere creates light. That's what that like plasma and shit. Plasma is like a gas, right? It's like light in the form of gas, from energy, and it makes light. It's neon. That's where you get neon lights from. It's from plasma, right? Different plasma gases. So I'm telling you, that's how your sky is going to be. That's how everything actually is. Once the grid goes down, like you ever notice, like when you're in a city where there's heavy, heavy light pollution, you can't see the stars. Like the stars are blanked out because of all the false light. Just take that as an example. And now you go out to the countryside or fuck that. You leave and go to the islands or to Africa or some shit like that. Mexico, you see the stars like it's a trip. It's like a whole sky. It stars like there's no gaps. It's just lights everywhere. You feel me? You guys notice that difference. And that's just a simple example of that. As a same way when the grid go down, you're going to see all kind of lights that you've never seen before. The stars are going to shine bright. They're going to sparkle brighter. Just think about how fast... Family, just think about how fast the environment cleaned up when the lockdown first went into effect. Remember when I was showing you guys and I was like, look, look how Most High is going to use this as an example. Just setting an example for you. Look how quick the earth healed itself. In like one week, every river, the most polluted rivers in the world were absolutely clean. You guys don't remember that? In the Venice, the, 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 in Venice, in Italy, in the canals, the, the dolphins came back. Fucking turtles and fucking dolphin came back in India, all over the place. Like every, all the most polluted rivers on the planet got cleaned up in like a week. And 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 then like remember, like in Texas and a lot of places, Japan, all over the world, the animals were just running through the cities and stuff. They were like just chilling, balling out. And the air got clean over China for the first time in like a hundred years. The sky was completely clean because the factories were shut down. That, that's an example for you guys of what ha actually happens when the flash takes place. It's not going to be nothing bad. You're going to start seeing shit like the air is going to be clean. So guess what's going to happen? Your mind's going to get clear. Certain things, you, yo, certain anxieties and fears that you have right now and depressions and sadness, fam, it literally comes from the grid pushing certain frequencies on you. These power lines and all this crazy shit got your brain scrambled. I'm telling you, fam, you can't focus. When them shits are gone, bro, you're going to start talking to the plants. You'll be sitting there and all of a sudden you're, just, you're even a plant having a conversation. Like literally, a little animal is just going to roll up to you and you just you and the little animal is going to be talking. You'll be like, what? This is what was going on the whole time. You were being blocked by machinery. You ain't even know. You thought it was you. Nah, they had a dampening field around you. Like when you put a governor on a car, you know you call a governor where you make a speed governor 111, bless, where you make the car could only go a certain speed. Right? Like you put a governor on the engine. So the car, the, the, the speedometer says 180. We put a governor on there, the car could only go 120. That's basically what they put on you with this system. It's a governor, a dampening field. It's been suppressing your energy, like suppressing your DEA, your DNA. It's never been dormant and shut off. It's being suppressed. It's always active. Once the grid goes off, goes down, family, your DNA, DEA activates. All your little extra special powers, your extra sensory perceptions, all that going to come back. There's nothing to fear. 
they're trying to generate fear by giving you these dates and showing you these cartoons and all this bullshit. You know what I mean? Trying to make you think scary. But just imagine for a second that when everything shuts down, instead of flipping out and going crazy, we all just chilling. We all just get together and start having bonfires and camping. Because <laughs> that's what I've seen in my vision. We're all like marching together and walking and, and, and laughing. I, Dude, I'm telling you, it's not what they project. I've seen one timeline and I've seen another timeline. And we're on the timeline that I've seen, the real one. Yeah, where it's not what they're saying. Fam, I've seen one. When I was in Cali where the, everything just went black. Not just the lights went off, the sky, everything went completely black. It was just all blackness. And then I told you guys this about this vision a while back. And off in the distance was three orbs on the horizon. It was a red, a blue, like the red and blue kachina, and a purple orb in the center. And it would lit up. It was beautiful, but that was the only lights. Everything else was completely black. But guess what, fam? Guess what? We were in the vision. Like, I'm walking around. I can't see shit, but I know where I'm going. It's like I know where I'm at, but I can't see shit. And I hear people talking in the, in the, in the darkness. And I can hear them. And they can hear me. And guess what? It's just vibes. When nobody's scared. We're all like, yo, we're just, oh, yo, this is wild. And everybody was like, yo, yo, like lit. We, were t we weren't mad. We weren't angry. We weren't sad. We were not panicked. And it was dark, complete darkness. And then all you could see was the orbs. And then the next thing you know, I see this fancy ass jet, like kind of look like a pyramid shaped wings. And I can actually show you the plane. They have um, uh, drawings of them or like uh, artist con conceptions of it that they're claiming they haven't built yet, like prototypes or whatever, but they have this shit. And it like, it went up in the air, it was red and white. It went up in the air like this and busted through the cloud cover that they created, the chemtrail cover. It busted through that shit, family, right? But as soon as it went up, and it was all the elites in this plane, like I could hear it in my head. It was like elites trying to take off. And they went up, and they went through the cloud cover, family. As soon as they got through the cloud cover, the plasma shut the plane down. It just went, and fell from the sky and crashed into like this billboard. It went, boom, and the whole shit just blew the fuck up. That was the elites, like, you feel me? That was their ass. But as far as we were concerned, man, there was no, there was no panic. And it was complete darkness. I was like, it was like we felt comfortable. It was like black light. It was wild. And I was like, yo, and like I told you, like I couldn't see anything, but it was like I could see it, but I couldn't see it. It's like I was walking down the street. I knew where I was, but I couldn't see anything. The only thing I could see was the orbs in the distance. And I'm telling you, everybody was chill. You feel me? And then in other visions, it's like just thousands of us walking into groups. And like there's fucking bubbles in the air and shit. Literal bubbles and stuff like that. We're all just walking and laughing and talking. People sailing in these boats and shit. I'm like, bro, they're not going to convince me of anything. Because I know I've seen the different timelines. We skipped all those timelines. I've been jumping timelines. That's what I'm telling you. I would not stay on that timeline when we get the fuckery. I, I wouldn't have stayed there. I promise you, we keep quantum leaping to the best possible outcome. And this one so far is the best one we've gotten so far. And this shit's not going to go how they think. Because I tell you, this is a timeline where we make it out. You see like Doctor Strange, when he was like, he went through all the multiverse timelines. And he was like, yo, there's only one where we win. And he's like, yo, that shit, that's what we've been doing. Like that, like Doctor Strange and the multiverse of madness and Infinity Wars and all that shit. Fuck you think they get that from? We're the quantum leapers. We've been doing that. We've been looking at every possible probable timeline. And we're like, yo, this is the one where we win. And we jump to this bitch. And we're going to guarantee the win. We already did. Is it? You see, yo, you see this nigga, man. You see, you see, you see your boy, uh, the Pontifus Maximus. <laughs> I told you all these niggas. These niggas been out of there. They got some kind of puppeteer shit going on with this nigga. Wasn't, wasn't, uh, what's his fucking name? Because remember, Benedict, Pope Benedict had to retire. Because that's when the, the shit started, family, if y'all don't know. Remember Pope Benedict? He was supposed to still be in there right now. Benedict got kicked out because his brother was running a motherfucking sex ring through the fucking church in, in Ireland, I swear, in Scotland. Yeah, that's why Benedict retired to kind of keep it all hush-hush, I swear. And then Francis just stepped in. All right, this guy Francis, the old Nazi fucking youth guy. <laughs> he meant Benedict, right? Benedict, <laughs> right? So Francis just come up in this bitch. You know, Francis just the other day, he was chilling, remember? He disappeared on TV like a hologram and all. 
had him walking around. I've been telling y'all, where this nigga at? Why is he not doing his Sunday thing every Sunday where he come out and talk shit to everybody? Where we derp, you know what I mean? Like, where is this nigga, right? And, and you know, they always, when they do show him, he's always sprightly, you know, chilling. <laughs> now, now, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here's this nigga. Rolling in a fucking wheelchair, dog. Like, what in the fuck did this happen? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened to you? Like, when did this happen? When, when did you get crippled? Then they gotta lift him up. They gotta hold him up. Like a weekend at Bernie's, they got the strings on this nigga. And they're trying to turn him around, put him in position. It's like, what the fuck is going on? We ain't told you there ain't no country for old man, nigga. <laughs> Look at your boy slow. Slow is up here in front of the nations, nigga. Shaking hands with ghosts. Getting lost on the stage, the exit right there. This nigga can't find his way off the stage. He jumps off the fucking plane. He's like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? It's like, nigga, go walk forward, you bitch. Like, you don't know that much. Like, come on, man. These niggas, are, they out of there. They're not real people. It's not possible. These are like, come on, fam. Like, reanimated corpses. You understand? Like, seriously. Like, that shit we, I, I posted about family with that, what that shit called? <laughs> that liquid they injecting in the, in the pigs that keep them back to life? That's what they putting in these niggas. That nano juice. They're not, they're, oh, these are re reanimated corpses, bro. I swear it's all gonna come out. Watch. <laughs> they're reanimated corpses because it's like they can't do the soul transfer shit no more. I told you guys that shit's over with. We in a whole new dispensation. All these little magic tricks don't work no more. All these circles of pentagons and shit. Pentagrams and all this shit. <laughs> Summoning the demon and rah, 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 rah. All right, nigga. <laughs> Money. Juan Jose, you done already. Big money. <laughs> Ow! I seen that money bag. <laughs> Send on, I never hang on. <laughs> Yo, but for real, family. You know, so the man them gone. The man them, the man them reanimated corpses. Watch the movie Reanimated. That's what them niggas did. The fuck out of here. They, they put that juice in them and just bring them back to life. And they like zombies. And they got to like, you know, they got to have handlers. And you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, because the last thing I seen right with Biden, right? Well, not the last thing. The thing before this one. <laughs> Because he just had a thing where he's on there. This nigga looks in a chick in the crowd, family, and goes, yo, you need to say hi to me. You remember what? You remember when I was 30 and you was 12? I learned a lot from you. <laughs> I said, God damn. This, yo, he slipped. Yo, the, the, they, re they, they reanimated corpses. They just saying whatever's jumbling around in their crazy fucking mind. They just saying, this nigga looked at the girl in the audience just now. Creepy as hell. He said, you need to say hi to me. <laughs> Your boy slow. Like, you need to say hi to me. <laughs> Remember when I was 30 and you was 12? <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm like, stop. Just stop. Nigga, stop. What the fuck is going on? This can't be real life. And it's not. It's not. It's not. Come on, man. There's no fucking way. So the one before this, slow was up there. What the fuck he did? Oh, yeah. He was... He, he, he got lost on stage, right? So his handlers come on the mic. And they're like, he lost. He's like looking on. He's like walking around. Like, you don't know. He doesn't know where he is, bro. This nigga doesn't know where he is. Okay? So his handlers come on the mic. And they're like, oh, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your great contribution to this, that, and the third. And everybody's just clapping. And this nigga's just walking around. <laughs> and it's like, dude, you can't come. What are you doing? Like, there's no more covering this up. This nigga has amnesia or what, what they call that shit? Alzheimer's, all that. He's a reanimated corpse. He don't even have a brain. What are you representing, Bobby Lyon? This shit don't make no sense. So, family, let me show you what's what. Let me show you what's what. These goofies, these fucking goofies are running a show for us. While they hide, they go run. They're trying to get the fuck out of here with all the resources and everything is possible before we figure out what's going on. I'm telling you. You see how in Iran they're having the revolution over there? They shut down Iran. All the women took off their hijabs and are like, fuck you, because they killed that chick. The, the fucking religious police killed that chick the other day. Now, a whole Iran turned over now. No women are wearing hijabs. Everybody bunted. They chased the fucking police, military out of their towns and villages in Iran. Got rid of them, burning the Shah's pictures, all that nigga, whatever, Ayatollah, <laughs> burning that nigga shit. Yo, the people just rose up. So now I'm telling you, this is what's going on everywhere. Why are they not talking about Japan with the government just gone? Like, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? It's Sri Lanka. Every country, the government's basically been dissolved in every country, fam. Panama, everywhere. Motherfucker just up in arms. Now, what's going on is them goofies, your reptile elite, the ones that still got the strength, 
Man, they, they hitting it in secret, trying to take as much resources as they can to the underground bases, bro. They have no choice. They're just trying to figure it out as they go along. But they're trying to sneak off right now while everyone's distracted with bullshit. That's what the distraction is for right now. They're sneaking the fuck off. And they got slow and all the, 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 this, this Pontifus, Maximus, all these goofies up there as like figureheads, bro. Like just to pretend to keep the circus going while they try to hide. And we get stuck holding the bag. I've been telling you all this shit for years. Now they come and announcing purges and shit. Oh, no. Every crime is legal. Why do you think? Rap, they'll let you know. They're not going to be there. Like, I've been telling y'all. It's not that they're just making crimes legal. Nigga, they ain't no police. They ain't none of that shit. We're just living in the last of the, the fumes of that. The remnants of that shit. That shit's over with. It's going to be every just everyone for themselves. That's what they're letting you know. I've been telling it, telling y'all this shit for years, but they're trying to be slick with it so they can sneak off. Oh, yeah, we're not going to be charging people. Because there ain't going to be no... Where's the court going to be? Stop being goofy. I told you after 2022, when we come out this shit, we in New Earth. Didn't I tell you? And what the fuck did they say they, these rules go into enacted? They get enacted. January 1st, 2023, as soon as we come out the vortex. <laughs> we in the savage lands, nigga. You are you in New Earth? You better be ready. You get what I'm saying? They, 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 dog, they let us know. What up, Dynamic Muddy? Up, up, Jesse, bang, bang. No doubt, Jesse, we good. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They think they're trying to hide. I said trying. I'm not saying it's going to work. You you already seen what's happening to them. They fucked. You feel me? It's just us got to wake up and smell the motherfucking coffee and just know what we got to do. You feel me? Stop living off of their fucking uh, narrative. Stop projecting what they're talking about and get real. Yeah, man, nothing what they talking about makes any sense. We, we got to be on some next level spirit chop right now. Do the spirit works more than anything else, family. That tell you. Get in tune with yourself. Balance out and get level. Get rid of the fear. Get rid of all that. Because now is the time where we're going to be creating reality with our minds. See it? And they want you to create fear. They want you to create bullshit, especially if you're a super powerful entity. You're a super powerful being in this light realm, this, one, this quantum realm of light and data. You're going to be able to create anything. You're going to create your own monsters if you're living in fear. You understand me? It's going to be you creating that shit now. For real. Whatever your mind is on is what it's going to be on. That's why I'm telling you the key to this is the architect up here. You feel me? Connected with all the portals and we open up. Because family, we're going to be creating the reality. We're the projectors now, family. And they tried to leave us stuck by keeping our minds depraved. So when we start now creating reality, we create a hell. That's, that's their, like, that's spite. Like how they spite God. Like that's how they spit in God's face. See, because God know we're supposed to have heaven on earth. So if they flip the script and we create hell on earth, that's that that's how they, you understand? Celestia, what up? Bless, bless. Up. Uh, Sue Bernstein, right. Our thoughts is everything. Like literally. I'm not kidding. Your thoughts conduct all these. See? So they want to project, they want you to project more fuckery because it's their way to spite God. Their way of warring on heaven is through us. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the only way, the only real actual way to combat that family, I'm telling you, realistic. Apollonia, what up? Bang, bang, bang. What up, Ninja Bear? Up. Oh. Yeah, right. Heaven is on earth. So is hell. This is the quantum field. There are higher degrees. There are higher levels. See? There are higher levels. And lower levels. See it? Heaven. There's heaven. The water's above. Water's below. Water's in between. But all of them are different degrees of heaven. We just allowed our, our slice of paradise to be corrupted. This is a reflection of heaven. This is heaven on earth. But it can also be hell on earth. Depending on where your mind is at. You create it. Fam, just stop and think about it. Let's think about it realistically. All right, one second. If we were using the technologies that we have for the benefit of man, woman, just think about it. We, we cure every disease because we already have the cures for every disease. We already know about alkaline. We know about H3O. We know about all the good shit you need to be 100% healthy. Keep the air and the skies clean. Use the technology to make dope shit for people. You're talking about life extension. We would never need that. The air and everything would be clean. So just imagine if all we did 
was literally flip our minds and start using technology for life and not anti-life. That's heaven on earth. But they're telling you it can't happen because a utopia is impossible. Why? Because the fucking snake people, the Canaanites, the Caesar Cain. That's why we can't have a utopia. They can never picture it in their minds. They're demons. And you'll hear them say it all the time. That'll never happen. As long as they're around, it won't. But they won't be around. So I'm telling you what's about to happen. All right? All it takes is for your mind to change. And you start using the technology for righteousness. That's it. And you have heaven on earth. What, what, what else would it be? It don't take you a million years to evolve and become some fucking fancy Star Trek motherfuckers. You could do it right now. Right now. It's easy. The only reason we can't and we're not is because of these demons. The seed of Cain. What up, Rosada? You're right. Nothing will happen until we're all safe. But, but I heard OCT 20 seconds, something will happen. Okay. Someone always had a dream about the hologram uh, bio beings and white light flashes. Yes, Rose out of bum. Yeah, man, it's going down. But what I'm saying is everything that's going down is according to the pattern. We're good. All that other circus shit is not going to affect us. That's what I'm saying. They can say whatever they want and they don't know when the judgment is just it's up the most high. Whatever it is, we sealed up. We good. That's not about it. It's a matter. We good. I know that. What else? Sankofa. Bless Sankofa. Whoa, alright, I'm gonna go 